So, round of four, show IP protocols. No protocols are running at the moment. Router, BGP 65004. Neighbor, 17112. Remote AS, 65003. And I put the wrong IP address there, it should be 17111. Now what's the problem? What have I forgot to do? I forgot to configure router 3 with router 4's details. So I need to do this side as well, otherwise the neighbor relationship won't come up. So, 17112, remote AS 65004. Notice the neighbor relationship has come up. It's really important to have your documentation right. On the side, notice the neighbor relationship has come up as well. So let's advertise the loopback address. Notice I should specify the mask. And I can also advertise 17110 with the mask. You don't have to advertise on both sides, but you can do that. So show IP BGP. We are seeing routes in the routing table. There's eight, there's 15, and there's 17. Again, you don't have to advertise on both sides, but you can do that in case one of the routers goes down or an interface goes down in your network. If multiple routers advertise, you have redundancy. So notice this network, and I'll expand the console window. This network originated in this autonomous system. Then it went through this autonomous system, then through this autonomous system, and then the local autonomous system received the route. The route is valid. Next hop is this router. So we should be able to ping the loopback of router one, which we can. We should be able to trace to the loopback of router one, which we can. Traffic went to router three, router two, and then router one. In the same way, show IP BGP on router one shows us the loopback of router four. The network originated in this autonomous system, went through this autonomous system, then this autonomous system, and was then received by the local autonomous system. The route was advertised by router two. So can router one ping the loopback of router four? Yes, it can. Can we trace to the loopback of router four? Yes, we can. So we've successfully configured this network with BGP. How did you do? Were you able to configure the network and get it working? Make sure that you can before you go for your CCNA exam. The next video is a troubleshooting video. Make sure that you can troubleshoot BGP before taking your exam.